Creepy Crawler RC back to you guys in another video. Just like always, let's hop right into it. So this here is the Gen 8 V2 and Gen 8 V1 and Gen 8 or Gen 9 version 1 axles. So this is my Gen 8 V1 if you guys don't know. I have upgraded it from the V1 to the V2 now to the Gen 9 V1 axles. These are the way to go guys. Okay, so let's let's show you guys what a V1 axle is. This is original Gen 8 axles. Now, everything is single shear. You guys can see, single sheared. Nothing's different from the rear to the front. If you guys can tell, all my axles are going to be set up so they're the same inner front and rear. The axles are identical on V1 and V2, not on gen 9 so follow with me <laughs> it's gonna be a little confusing so no difference here no difference here no difference here and no difference here but there is a difference that's the only thing they did right there they added a bolt to go through here to hold your shock and this would make this a double sheared outer c hub so now the outer c hub is double sheared on a v2 axle not in the v1 so, yeah, yeah, kinda. It's all right. The reason I got rid of these, I went to these because these were supposed to be way better. And I'll tell you guys, that was a waste of money. All this was, all this. Your links, those won't work. If you guys don't know, I do got a Club Five with Club Five links. That don't work no more. All this don't work. Except for the outer little hubs. The covers will still work. So all this, garbage. All these are garbage. Uh, these here, garbage. This one, garbage. That's what you guys are left with. They completely revamped this axle. So let's look at it. All right, if you guys can see right here, it is a little different than the factory. I forgot to get the factory one out. Still greasy, dang it. So that's the factory right there. That's the factory uh, CV shaft. They went to a more like a yoke style. So far, it's all right. We'll see how it lasts. The C hubs are actually molded. In the front only, guys. The rear is still a two-piece axle. The front is one solid piece. The C-hubs are unreplaceable. So if you guys break a C-hub, you got to buy a whole new front axle. Um, of course, these still in bolt here. But the angles are different. The axle is narrower on the inside. But this is where the money is, guys. They double sheared the rear. So now you got double sheared on both sides. They still left this deal here, so it's still a double shear there. The front is where the money's at, guys. They double sheared the front link. Let me see if I can get you guys on that. You guys can see right there, double sheared. And I'm telling you guys, that's where it's at. So we got all double sheared up here. Um double sheared outer hubs so you're double sheared here now and your link can still mount here I think the way they do it factory this here is the link here that I had to buy I had to buy the center axle and I had to buy the outer C hubs and the shafts to make this all work so if you guys are looking at how to make a gen 9 axle fit under a gen 8 you pretty much take your whole axle out your center gears out and you throw the rest. So this here is all the stuff you guys will need. If you guys want, you can kind of pause on it, but this is what you guys will need to make this whole front axle work. And the center link, I had to make a custom. I had to make my own little link. It's really short, but you, if you run the factory, uh, front member here 
you could probably get away with running the uh, one they provide. But this, I had to buy this. I did not buy this. I could have bought this, and it might have worked. I don't know, guys. But I know this will work. This axle will not work. So if you guys are trying to save a little bit of money, like I did the first time, they will not work together. So you guys are better off just throwing that in the trash. The axle housings themselves will not work. So there's no combination to make your old axles work with your new outer shafts or anything. Because everything's shorter. I don't know how they did it, but if you guys can see, everything is shorter. And I do got wheel spacers on this. And this is where it's crazy, guys. Look at this. It's sharp. I've never had my rig ever turn this sharp. I'm running into the uh, the links, so I've got to kind of figure that out. Might go smaller on the tire. If you guys do not know on that video, these are Winnego 2.2 Swampers. Might have to be going a little smaller. <laughs> They're a little big. They're rubbing everywhere. You guys, can you tell, even in the frame, this thing will rub everywhere, guys. So let me know what you guys run for tires. I would definitely appreciate it. But that's the rig, guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe. It definitely helps out the channel. And I love hearing your guys' comments, so comment down below.